In this lesson, I just want to go over this idea of normalizing a vector. In the previous lesson, we saw that when the player moved diagonally, they moved a lot faster than when they were moving horizontally or vertically. So in front of me here, I have a grid, a squared pattern, and each of these squares is one unit by one unit. I also have three points, A, B, and C. To move from point A to point B, it's a distance of one unit. And let's say we travel that one unit in one second. Similarly for B to C, that is a distance of one unit again in one second. But to move from point A to point C, that is a longer distance. In fact, using Pythagoras' theorem, we could calculate that distance and it works out at root two. So approximately 1.4. Now the idea of normalizing a vector is to turn this vector AC into what we call a unit vector. So a vector of length one. And we can show that with a unit circle. So we can see the vector AB, that's of length one. And now we can reduce vector AC to vector AD by normalizing it. It's now got a length of one. And by doing so, the speed of that diagonal movement will be the same as when we're moving horizontally or vertically.